2017 Ford Focus is essentially unchanged other than a few alterations to trim levels and features availability. When it comes to compact cars, there are a lot of choices out there. Practically every mainstream automaker offers one. More than just bare bones economy cars, the latest models have become tech rich and comfortable road trip cars. Some even have some personality and flair. So, how to choose? Well, you'd be off to a good start by checking out the 2017 Ford Focus. The Focus is one of the oldest cars in its class, its last redesign was back in 2012, but Ford has kept it fresh through the years. A good example is the Focus optional Sync 3 infotainment touchscreen interface. It's easy to use and is packed with features, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration. Even if you don't get that feature, though, the Focus will impress you. It's one of the more enjoyable cars to drive when it comes to driving around turns, yet it's also suitably quiet and comfortable on the highway. Of course, the Focus has a lot of competitors, and if we're honest, some of them are just plain awesome. The 2017 Honda Civic was redesigned just last year, and it's one of our favorites in the class. It's faster more fuel efficient and just as enjoyable to drive as the Focus, with a bit more room to spare in places such as the back seat and trunk. The 2017 Mazda 3 is enjoyable to drive as well, with a bit more reasonable price and impressive fuel economy numbers of its own. For lots of value, be sure to check out the 2017 Kia Forte that offers a much more upscale driving experience than you would expect from a car with such a competitive price tag. Chevrolet's new 2017 Cruze, which is also offered as a hatchback this year, is another solid option. It's important to note that the Focus Electric has its own set of rivals, including the 2017 Fiat 500D, the Nissan Leaf and the new 2017 Chevrolet Bolt. Though the Focus Electric is okay, the 500D is typically less expensive to lease while the Bolt promises more than double the range of most small Fs. The Bolt is going to be the one to get in this class. For the regular gas-powered Focus, though, it's still right in the mix of the segment's best. It comes in all sorts of configurations, and it continues to prove that driving something compact doesn't mean you have to drive something boring. Trim levels and features The 2017 Ford Focus is a compact car that's available in a choice of sedan and four-door hatchback body styles. There are four main trim levels available, S, C, Cell and Titanium, as well as the Focus Electric. The high-performance Focus Street and Focus RS are reviewed separately. The S model sedan only comes with 15-inch steel wheels, automatic headlights, keyless entry, air conditioning, cloth upholstery, a height-adjustable driver seat, 60-40 split folding rear seats, a tilt and telescoping steering wheel hill start assist, a rear view camera, a 4.2 inch central display, power front windows manual rear windows, power locks and mirrors, Ford's Mikey limit speed, audio volume, etc., for young drivers, sync voice controls, Bluetooth, and a 4 speaker sound system with a CD player and two USB ports. The next trim level is the say. Essentially, it's the base trim level for the hatchback. On top of the standard S equipment, you get 16-inch alloy wheels, body color exterior mirrors and door handles, cruise control, power rear windows, a trip computer, a front center armrest, additional front headrest adjustments, rear air vents, steering wheel mounted auxiliary controls and a six-speaker sound system with satellite radio. Hatchback models also get a rear spoiler and a removable package tray. A number of option packages are available for same models. The SEI EcoBoost appearance package features the three-cylinder engine, a six-speed automatic transmission. The manual is unavailable with this package. Unique 16-inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes, fog lights, LED running lights and black exterior trim. The cold weather package bundles heated outside mirrors, heated front seats, a heated steering wheel and out weather floor mats. The cell adds 17 inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes, fog lights, LED running lights, rear parking sensors, 
dual zone automatic climate control, a sunroof, a 10 speaker Sony audio system, and the Sync 3 infotainment system with an 8 inch touch screen, enhanced voice controls, and multicolor ambient interior lighting. Spring for the top of the line titanium model, and you get the contents of the cell plus remote start, a rear spoiler, heated mirrors, keyless entry and ignition, a keyless entry keypad, a heated steering wheel, leather upholstery, an 8 away power driver seat, heated front seats, and a rear center armrest. A navigation system is optional for the cell and titanium. The optional titanium technology package includes automatic high beam headlights a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, and lane departure warning. A self-parking system is also available. Offered only as a hatchback, the Focus Electric is equipped similarly to the Titanium, although leather upholstery and the power driver seat are optional. The Electric gets exclusive Xenon headlights and LED taillights as standard. Performance and MPG The standard engine for the front-wheel drive 2017 Ford Focus is a 2.0-liter four-cylinder that puts out 160 horsepower and 146 pound-feet of torque. The S gets a 5-speed manual transmission standard. A 6-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission Ford calls it power shift comes standard on the SA hatchback, cell and titanium. Official EPA fuel economy estimates weren't available at publishing time, but last year's Focus posted an excellent 31 miles per gallon combined 27 city 39 highway with the automatic transmission. This number dropped to 29 miles per gallon combined 26 city 36 highway with the manual. The EPA has changed the way it calculates its fuel economy for 2017, so a slight drop in these numbers is likely. During prior testing of a Focus with this engine, we observed 33 miles per gallon on the Armixa driving evaluation route. In performance testing, a Focus say with the automatic went from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 9.0 seconds, which is a bit slower than average for a base engine in this segment. With the manual transmission, that number improves to 8.3 seconds. An optional turbocharged EcoBoost 1.0-liter three-cylinder engine is available for the SA sedan. It produces 123 horsepower and 125 lb-ft of torque and comes standard mated to a six-speed manual transmission. A six-speed automatic can be added as a part of the SA EcoBoost appearance package. Last year's EPA estimated fuel economy for the 1.0-liter engine with the manual transmission was 34 miles per gallon combined 30 city 41 highway, while the automatic posted 32 miles per gallon combined 28 city 39 highway. On the evaluation route, a manual-equipped 1.0-liter Focus returned a disappointing 29.1 miles per gallon. In performance testing, the same car accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a similarly disappointing 9.7 seconds. The Ford Focus Electric has a 107 kW 143 horsepower electric drive motor that draws power from a 23 kWh lithium ion battery pack. In performance testing, the Focus Electric went from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 9.6 seconds which is about the same as the Nissan LEAF but a lot slower than the new Chevrolet Bolt. The EPA gave last year's Focus Electric a competitive energy consumption estimate of 32 kWh per 100 miles and projects a driving range of 76 miles. The Nissan LEAF can go farther, though, and the Chevy Bolt has essentially triple the range. With a 240-volt home charger, Ford says, the Focus Electric can be recharged in 4 hours. Safety The 2017 Ford Focus comes standard with ND lock brakes Rear drum brakes are standard on the S, 4-wheel discs are standard for the SA, cell titanium and electric, stability and traction control, a driver knee airbag, front side airbags and side curtain airbags. The Ford Sync system includes an emergency crash notification feature that automatically dials 911 when paired with a compatible cell phone. A rear view camera and Ford's MyKey system which can be used to set electronic parameters for secondary drivers are also standard. 
Optional for the titanium trim level is a technology package that includes a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert and a lane departure warning system. During performance testing, in a simulated panic stop from 60 miles per hour, a Focus C with a rear disc brakes came to a stop in 120 feet, which is average for the class. A Focus with rear drum brakes stopped in 131 feet, which is definitely below average. The electric took 126 feet. In government crash tests, the Focus earned an overall rating of 5 stars out of a possible 5, with 5 stars for total front impact protection and 5 stars for total side impact protection. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety gave the Focus a top score of good in its moderate overlap front impact, side impact and roof strength tests. The Focus seat and head restraint design was also rated good for whiplash protection in rear impacts, and it received the second highest score of acceptable in the Institute's small overlap front impact test. Interior One of the 2017 Ford Focus best attributes is its interior design. This is a vehicle that could definitely be classified as an economy car, but the cabin doesn't feel cheap or cute rate at all. The materials have a quality look and feel, and all the controls are laid out in logical and simple format. The SYNC 3 available on the cell and titanium trim levels touchscreen infotainment interface is easy to use and includes the latest smartphone app integration systems. Though we like the view from the driver's seat and the roomy front seat in the Focus, it's a little bit harder to like the back seat. It's definitely a squeeze for adults, and competitors such as the Honda Civic and the Nissan Sentra do much better in this area. Out back, when you start packing your luggage into the trunk, the Focus is a bit closer to average. The Focus sedan checks in with 13.2 cubic feet of cargo space in the trunk which is about 2 cubic feet shy of class leaders. The hatchback model, meanwhile, offers 23.3 cubic feet behind the rear seats, expanding to 43.9 cubic feet with those seatbacks folded down. Both numbers are respectable. Because of its oversized battery pack, the Focus Electric hatchback offers a more modest 14.5 cubic feet behind the rear seats and 33.2 cubic feet total. Driving much like its upscale interior, the driving characteristics of the 2017 Ford Focus help it stand out in its class even after several years on the market. For starters, it's one of the most comfortable compact cars to drive on the highway, and it has very enjoyable handling manners. Basically, the ride quality is smooth, quiet and docile on the highway or over broken city streets but it still manages to handle corners well and feel especially sporty for the class. It strikes a great balance between comfortable and entertaining. The underwhelming power trends, however, work against the focus. The standard 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine is adequate in daily driving but isn't very exciting. The dual-clutch automatic transmission it operates like a standard automatic for most intents and purposes is mostly hit or miss due to its marginal slow speed city performance. To get any meaningful response from the gas pedal, you really have to floor it. The base S trim level comes standard with a 5-speed manual, though, and we enjoy the driving experience with that transmission much more. Aside from the standard 2.0-liter engine, there's the turbocharged 1.0-liter three-cylinder engine and the Focus Electric. The 1.0-liter engine is also available in the smaller Ford Fiesta, and it makes much more sense there, but in the Focus it's a bit outmatched and acceleration suffers. The Focus Electric isn't very fast, either, although the battery-powered motor delivers some snappy acceleration from a standing start. Handling isn't as sharp in the Focus Electric as it is in the standard model but it's still one of the better driving evs in this price range.